Hi, I'm Matt Casabaugh and I'm the winemaker here at Casa Larga Vineyards in upstate New York. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about and let you behind the curtain of the production of our newest wine, our 2019 Lemberger. So Lemberger is a grape variety uh, and it makes really nice, vibrant, fruit forward red wines, particularly in cool climate growing regions like our own. Um, so the Finger Lakes has kind of gotten a lot of notoriety lately for white wines, but we're also really proud of our red wines. And I think this is a really great example of the red wines we can make in the Finger Lakes. So when we're making red wine versus white wine, the main difference starts right at the very beginning. White wine, we take the grapes and we crush them up and we press them and we work with clear, clean juice the entire time. With red wines, that's not the case. Red wines, we want the juice, but we also want all the skins in there as well. So the fermentation has skins floating in them the entire time. So as the fermentation progresses, it produces CO2 in the form of bubbles, and that takes the skins and it pushes all of them up to the top of the fermentation. It makes kind of like a little blanket. So that's cool for us, but we also want to incorporate those skins in every once in a while, and we do that by punching down. So I take the stick at least twice a day and come up to the fermentation and push the skins back down into the fermentation. So as we do this, the wine pulls compounds from the skins. So it gets tannins, it gets color, and it gets flavors and aromas. So we go through and do the entire fermentation twice a day, and uh, it's a good workout. It's a lot of fun, actually. So this will be fermenting for a couple weeks before we press it off and make it into wine. So for this Lemberger, as you're punching it down, you really get a good opportunity to taste and smell what the final wine is going to look like. For this one, the first thing I get is a ton of red fruit, a lot of raspberries, a lot of sweet cherries, and then there's kind of a floral thing. Um, a lot of like lavender and then the whole thing has like this crushed black pepper undertone so it makes for a complex really exciting wine and i hope you come on down to our tasting room on turk hill road and give it a taste